this is Lopa Doodle Canine Manor uh, website www l a w p d o o d l e k the number nine manor m a n o r dot com. It is April second, two thousand eighteen, and this is our litter of Pyrenees with Bernies. Sire is an AKC registered Bernies Mountain Dog, and our mom is a registered AKC Great Pyrenees. All right, and this is our combination we've been working on or planning for about three years now. It won't be a very often litter. Um, we are keeping two of the females from this litter. Uh, my brother and his family are getting one, and we've already sold two more spots. Um, but we do have, I believe, six spots still open for this litter. We have five boys and six girls. <laughs> they are just now, oh, they're about three and a half weeks old, I believe, right now. Approaching four weeks. And as you can see, they're getting a little vocal and letting me know that I do not look like their mommy. <laughs> so this, you guys are too funny. I love little puppy barks, especially the first ones. See, we had some friends from church over the other day, so she's helping to socialize, and we'll have some more. My sister-in-law's coming in this coming weekend, weather permitting, um, and our friends may come back and visit, so. Hey, yeah, we're trying to get these little puppies to socialize. Yes, we are. We have to be very careful, of course, and just limit it to people that we know for socialization, um, just to protect our puppies. Hi, guys. So let me introduce you to them uh, as I can, uh, one by one, by their collar color. We do have them. I will try and get updated uh, individual photos as well this week, probably not today. Um, that's my little girl. She has a red collar. She is the smallest one in the litter. I'm sorry, baby. Um, she is the smallest one in the litter, but it's her reddish coloring. Uh, is one of the reasons we're going to try and keep her. Uh, most of our smaller ones do tend to mature out about the same size as our siblings. All right, what are you mouthing? Oh, you're yawning and barking at the same time, huh? How cute. All right, this is our light pink collared girl. I have to look carefully because sometimes with the uh, light pink, it's kind of dingy and dirty and it looks like the brown. But this is a girl. So this is one of our girls. Hi there. This is our dark pink collared girl coming running over to me. You can see the coloration in their coats. I'm really excited to see what they turn out to be when they get older. I have seen some pictures of this crossbreed uh, on the internet. They are very rare. It is very hard to come by this, uh, this breed. But um, anyway, they are absolutely gorgeous. The coloration, and you cannot beat the temperaments of two of the most fabulous dogs. Great for children. Um, kind of mild tempered. Uh, they will go through their typical puppy you know, puppy phases, as all puppies do, uh, but these should make great family dogs. Now, unlike our doodles, these guys are not meant to be allergy friendly or non-shed, as um, so many people are looking for. Uh, both the breeds, the Pyrenees as well as the Bernese, have plenty of hair, and as my sister-in-law always loved to um, talk about when she read the description of a Bernese mountain dog many years ago, said, I guess it was one of those things where it says if it's suitable for your family or not. And one of the questions was, if you do not mind hair in your butter, this might be the right breed for you. <laughs> so, um, I'm not opposed to shedding breeds, vacuums, brooms, things do it for me. I'm not that particular. We don't have carpet in our house any longer. Um, and we have uh, faux leather furniture, things that are just, as far as I'm concerned, um, disposable for the sake of my animals because that's the way I prefer my life. I'll watch HGTV. I just won't live like that because my animals don't permit it. Is that not the cutest thing? If I wasn't in the middle of the video, I could have actually stopped and taken, taken a photo of that. But anyway, all right. Uh, this is our gray collared boy. So this is one of our males. Um, nice and symmetrical in markings. I do believe this brownish uh, black sable kind of coloring will lighten in all of these puppies as they get older. 
Um, like I said, you can Google. Uh, they're known to be more commonly called great mountain dogs, I believe. Um, we are calling them great mountain ewes because the mountain ewes is very close to mountaineers, which is the love of this area. Okay, and of course, both my children are alumni of the WWE Mountaineers. All right, what? What are you barking at over there, little girl? All right, this is our black collar. And although we use it for boys and girls, we have more girls this time. So um, this is our, this is actually a female. Yeah, sure. They're going to be very, very loving, affectionate dogs. Uh, just knowing the temperament of both of the breeds. <laughs> yeah, that's our purple collar girl, I believe. Yes, purple collar girl. There's her face. They're going to be changing so rapidly. All right, here you You're gray, so we already introduced you. Black. All right. Um, we got here, this is our dark pink, and this is our light pink. All right, so we got to get over here to the pile to get some new ones, aside from my little red girl there. All right, what do we got here? We got a dark blue boy. Ooh, you're already getting that big jowl look in your face. He's got a very, very wide, stout face. Very much like the Pyrenees. Okay. Um, this is our light blue collared boy. Now, Marcy and McKenna loved this guy just because of his double Cleopatra eyes. Going to be very, very striking as he gets older. Okay. Now, this is the other girl we're keeping. This is our orange collared girl. Um, my brother was hoping, as he saw this one in a group of uh, puppies, that this one was going to be a male, since male is their preference. Um, but she is a female, and she's also got that kind of wide Pyrenees face to her. So I'm really excited about that. They're just, I just can't wait to see how these guys mature. Like I said, this is not going to be um, a breed that we're going to have commonly. We just wanted to have two females from this mixed breed that likely, <clears throat> in a couple of years, we will breed back for doodles to one of our standard poodle studs. Okay. Um, all right. And let's see, we've got green collared boy. He's a little bit smaller. He's our next to the smallest puppy in the litter, but again, don't let the litter size fool you as they can mature out just as big as their siblings. All right. And this is brown collar boy. Yeah, let's see, light blue, we did purple. <laughs> That's our dark pink girl. That's gray back there with my little girl. There's my other little girl. All right, so, like I said, I am gonna try and get uh, updated individual pictures this week. Um, I need to finish up on my taxes really bad because our appointment with our accountant is on Friday. Um, but, uh, I did want to give you a quick view. Now they're all kind of crashing again at this age. They do go down pretty quickly as far as, uh, napping after activity. I'm getting ready to feed them, actually. I didn't want to give them their mush until after I videotaped them. Unfortunately, I won't be so fortunate with my pure doodles because they are little piglets and I couldn't hold back on feeding them. So they are fat and happy right now and I gotta go clean their box. And then, uh... Let their moms back in. Well, we're already learning to use the pop tops. That's good. Who's this? Hi, sweetie. This is our dark pink collar girl. Yeah. You guys are sassy. Sassy little puppies. You're sassy little puppies. Yes, you are. Yeah. What, 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 what? This is our black collar girl. And then, of course, this is the orange collar, which we will be keeping here with Love the Doodle. And that's our dark blue and our gray. No, that's our light blue colored boy. Yes, the one with the pretty eyes. All right, just trying to catch them as they're moving around to identify them. Oh, we'll be getting more videos, you can rest assured. These guys got a few more weeks here with us, so. Boy, you're awful friendly, aren't you? This one is gonna be a lap dog, whether you want it or not. <laughs> Yeah, she's awfully affectionate. This is our dark pink or colored girl. You're a sweetheart, aren't you? Huh? Are you a sweetheart? 
Our price for these puppies are $1,000. Okay, we will have uh, pedigrees on file. Um, but uh, <laughs> they won't be presented until, you know, you can have your pedigrees after they are spayed or new. We are selling these as pets only at the price of $1,000. Um, if anybody has an interest that I, you know, that, that I have to, I just, I don't usually work except for a very, very small circle of very trusted, long, well-known breeders um, to actually sell my, my breeding dogs to, such as our Old English, which we will expect a litter later this year, um, to keep for our program down the road. Uh, we've got a lot of dogs that are retiring out of our program. We've already had a few go out in the last couple of months, and... Um, we just like to retire them when they're fairly good age and then it takes, of course, we have to plan ahead because it takes as much as two years before we see a possibility of a first litter out of one of our females that we raise up from a puppy. Okay. All right, so thank you very much for viewing our puppies and may God bless you.